up to Auckland for the rest of their hearings, which I think is pretty scummy. Trying to move them away from Wellington where they've got so much support. They're trying to move them to a place where they don't know as many people. And it's just yet another despicable act by the state, by the court system, by the police who apply to move them. To really try and stop this solidarity movement and stop this movement to support all the arrestees before, and just as it's getting started. I'm going to start today by just reading a message from one of the people who was in prison in Wellington. She sent this message out by someone who went to visit her yesterday. Thanks so much for all the love and support and solidarity we've received from people in Aotearoa and across the world. Our conditions have now improved. I finally received vegetarian meals yesterday and we can now even ring our lawyers. We've also had visitors, books, magazines and newspapers and we even got our mail today which makes all of this just a little bit more bearable. At the moment I'm reading the graphic history of the industrial workers of the world and some bell hooks. The solidarity has been really amazing with support from around the world. We saw protests in Australia. I saw a photo of the Melbourne rally in the, in the newspaper and Cena Brown Davis gets quoted as saying, we must remember that the ones who are terrorists are those who came to Australia and to Aotearoa and committed genocide. If we don't reply to letters or emails that you send us, then it is probably because we don't have pens, papers and envelopes at the moment, which are tricky to get hold of. But yeah, they just wanted to send a message that they do really appreciate all the support and all the letters that they're getting. Um, if you do want to send a letter to any of the arrestees, a website just went live this morning at www.civilrightsdefence.org.nz and that website just contains a whole lot of information, background information on the raids and on the charges that have been laid on the people that have been arrested and also information for people who might want to visit or send letters to the friends and family of the prisoners and to the prisoners themselves. What we saw on Monday was nothing short of state terrorism. Terrorism is the use or threat of violence to instill fear amongst a community or a people and that is exactly what we saw in Rotoki in Taniatua and indeed all across the North Island with the police raids early in the morning, breaking down doors, searching school buses at gunpoint, arresting people, searching people's houses, confiscating anything and everything, even a bag of carrots and avocados was confiscated. <laughs> But the support that these people have received, the support that the prisoners and their friends and family have received is amazing. All the people here, I thank you all for turning up today. And I know that the people who are sitting in a prison cell at the moment do really appreciate it. And this can't be the end of it. We have to keep standing up. We have to keep fighting, not only for the people in prison, but for the causes that they represent and for the causes that they fought for and continue to fight for. We have to keep standing up and fighting for a better world. A world where the police don't do these despicable acts. A world where states over the, all around aren't killing people and imprisoning them simply for their political beliefs or for standing up for their rights and for their own freedom. The state, the state has tried to scare us all, but the turnout of people here today and at the same time in Auckland and Dunedin there are people rallying for the very same reason and in the coming days and weeks there are people rallying all across the world and we're saying that we are not afraid we are not going to sit down and remain silent we are going to stand up and we are going to fight back until this world is a better, more equal place until people don't have to starve simply because they cannot afford to go to the supermarket. Until people don't have to stay in their homes because if they leave, there are army outside who are threatening to kill them. We are all fighting for a better world. It has started long ago, it continues today, and it will continue until we get it. 
So I just want to thank you all again for coming here today. We're going to march down to the police station. Let's make it noisy. Let's let our voices be heard. That banner over there says, raise your voice before you lose your soul. And I think that is an apt message for us all today. We must raise our voices because the state has no soul. We all know that. So let's fight against it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thanks, everyone. We're just about finished here for the day. Um, but I do want to remind everyone that next Saturday, Saturday the 27th, back here at 12 noon, it's part of an international day of action and solidarity with those arrested on Monday and with those harassed and questioned, searched, raided since then. But next Saturday, 12 o'clock here, one of the things that the police and the state wanted to do with these raids was to split us. They wanted to divide us between Tenoranga Teratanga activists and environmental activists, between peace activists and anarchists, between people who are against violence in all forms and people who think that occasionally it may be legitimate. People, they wanted to make a division between legitimate protest and illegitimate protest. And I think it's really important that as we continue this campaign, that we say it is not our job to make that division. They can try, but we will not be divided because it's only together that we can accomplish what we want to, which is the freedom for all of the, those arrested. And, of course, the struggle for the better society that all of them are a part of. So I invite you all to come back here next Saturday, 12 o'clock, and as be a part of this international campaign to free those arrested. If you haven't already written on one of the clipboards, like this one just to my right here, write a message of solidarity and support for those arrested, and it will be delivered to them in prison. Otherwise, you can visit www.civilrightsdefence.org.nz and get all the details to write letters to the prisoners directly and how you can support their families. Thanks everybody for coming today. Come